Jericho, a small town in Kansas that witnessed a series of nuclear attacks that destroyed 23 American cities in a single day. In a single day. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the perfect way to jump into the premise for what is an amazing science fiction show that was unfortunately canceled called Jericho. And I'm here today to tell you why you should watch this show, even though it was canceled, even though it aired 15 years ago. I'm Tim Anderson, a.k.a. Renfell. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, hopefully you like what you see here. You're in for a treat today. Jericho is one of those hidden sci-fi gems that I think is worth watching no matter when it was produced, even though it was canceled. And I do a lot of different stuff like this here on my show. We do reviews of books, shows, films, all sorts of other stuff. I play a lot of the video games. We're currently playing Lord of the Rings Online with our community. We have a Discord. We have a Patreon where my wife and I, along with my brother, are creating a fantastical world of the Weave in the Void. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So do me a favor. If you get to the end of this video and you like it, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you get updates like this in the future. And check out all the links down below. Jericho. There's a lot I could say about it, and we're going to talk about some of it here today. Um, first and foremost, though, I want to talk about the cast. Like, It's an ensemble cast, um, and for me, I think that, that one of the things I love about the show the most is, is I think the actors all did a really good job. Extremely passionate about their roles, um, and, and they did a really good job of portraying the angst of people living through this sort of post-apocalyptic setting. Um, really good job. So Ski Ulrich is, Ulrich is probably the most known out of this. But you can go down the list. Um, Alicia Coppola, etc. cetera. Um, my favorite is uh, Eric Knudsen was in here too. Um, but I like um, Isaiah Morales. If you don't remember who Isaiah, Isaiah Morales is, um, he also, the reason I remember him so well is because he did Caprica right after uh, Battlestar Galactica. And this was, this was airing right around the same time that, that, that Battlestar Galactica was coming to an end or it had just ended. And then I rolled right into this and I'd seen this and then I saw his face in Caprica and when I was going to watch Caprica anyway, which by the way, I need to do Caprica. That just reminded me we're doing Caprica on this show also. Oh, and I need to rewatch Battlestar Galactica and do a deep dive into that. That would be fun. That would be really fun. Maybe I'll do that this year. I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, great cast of characters in this show. So the premise of the show is basically um, the fictional city of Jericho, Texas, and how they deal with the aftermath of a nuclear attack on 23 cities in the contiguous United States. Or contiguous, I, however you want to pronounce it. I might butcher that. Who cares? So this is basically kind of like Jeremiah. You're dealing with this setting where everything gets wiped out. So the residents of this town, they see it happen. Um, then they have to deal with the fact that there's no internet, there's no electricity, there's no blah, 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 you name it. Everything's been cut off, no supplies, all this other stuff. And so the, the first sort of, I don't remember how many episodes in particular, um, but the first section of the show is all about the residents of the town dealing with the aftermath and realizing that, you know, well, we're going to have to figure out how to survive. And then about halfway through the first season is when they meet the nearby town of New Bern. And that's when we start to get into getting some you know, trade relations set up and so on and so forth for electricity and beyond. Um, but this begins to go south as there are some problems going on. And by the end of the first season, um, the the sheriff of New Bern declares war on them. Now, the, 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 the underlying theme here is that first and foremost, we have to deal with the fact that, that the United States has pretty much been wiped out in terms of the major cities. No power, no nothing, no communications. And the direct result of that is the town having to figure out how to survive. And that's that's kind of like the central plot. But underlying all of that is the what happened, who caused the nuclear attacks. And that's when we get into this whole, um, basically, the, the, the fact that the bombs were set off purposefully. And it wasn't a foreign power who did it. Um, it was somebody from this group, um, which I don't want to spoil everything here for you. I mean, if you're reading the wiki alongside me, you're going to find some more out. But that's an underlying theme of the show, which is kind of always underneath there. And, and they kind of tease that out throughout the season and throughout the second season particularly. You start to get teased about who, who were the people who caused, who were the people who actually nuked. And then you find out, oh, it was Americans and they nuked their own cities. Like they, they wiped out 
you know, millions of people in a power play because it was like a civil war and they wanted to take over the government. And that gets into this whole other structure of, of which to me, this is why I love this show so much because of the world building and the setting that was being put into place with this being much more than just, oh, a bunch of nuclear attacks went off and people have to learn how to survive. It's like, no, there's that going on, but then there's also this other thing going on. And as we get deeper into the show, the main characters start to find out about that and they start to have to deal with that. Now, unfortunately, this was one of those shows that was canceled. After the first season, um, it was canceled because it didn't have good enough ratings. The fans rallied and they convinced um, the, the production company to bring it back for another season but it only got seven episodes in the second season so it's a much shorter run i still think it's highly watchable I, I think it's worth your time because of the fact that it is a really good story the actors are really good it's not you know it's one of those things that's the setting is low so you don't have a ton of special effects or anything like that it's just good fun so if you have a couple of weeks that you want to dive into something it's totally worth it even though yes it is a canceled show and going on about the second American Civil War. There's so much There's so much good stuff in here now. It has continued, but not in the way that you would want it to. It did get a third and a fourth season, so to speak, through comic books. Um, but it's not... I haven't worried about them. I mean, that's. I'm not really into... You know, I like comic books, but I don't really... If I've watched a show... It's like Firefly. Firefly, for me, was the show... And the film, the Serenity film. I've never read any of the comics for Firefly, despite my passion for the show and the and the film. Um, that's just me. I don't I don't necessarily do the crossovers that much. But in any case, um, they did try to bring this back on Netflix around 2013, 2014. There were some very good talks. Netflix had um, agreed to a schedule. Skeet Ulrich had agreed to come back. Uh, a budget had been set, and all this other stuff. And basically, there were creative differences between CBS and and Netflix. CBS didn't agree with where Netflix and and etc. where they wanted to take the show, um, and so CBS ultimately said, "No, we're not going to do the deal with you," which sucks because CBS holds the rights, and they just decided that they did, they would rather not see any more of it on the TV, which is ridiculous to me, but it is what it is. So, um. I don't remember how many episodes does it show here on the wiki? How many episodes we have 22 episodes in the first season and seven. So we got like a third of a run um, in the uh, second season. This is what blows me, blows my mind here too. Um, by the end of the first season, it was still, you know, it was still getting 7 million viewers per episode and the, sh and, and CBS considered that to be a failure. I can't tell you how many shows I watch in the streaming era and the current generation that we live in, the current era of television, of streaming, and everything else, where shows are getting, you know, five, five, five 500,000, 700,000 um, per episode of people tuning in live. And then overall through streaming and everything else, we get up to five, you know, three to five million tuning in. And those shows will continue for four or five seasons in the current era. So it blows my mind that this show still had 7 million viewers by the end of the first season, and it still got canceled. That just goes to show you that network television, their, their, their dynamics and their metrics are completely different than like streaming platforms and, and et cetera. Because I know so many really good critically acclaimed shows that only get 500 to 750,000 people who tune in live, and then a couple of few million after the fact, um, over the course of a year and those three million people are more than enough for the for the network to consider that to be a viable show so this is one of those things where i think it's just ridiculous that it got pulled off the air because it only had seven million viewers i'm like that's fucking ridiculous anyway you've got 29 episodes uh to chew through i think that's a very good chunk if you look at a lot of shows today to only do like 10 episodes per run then you're going to get three seasons worth of a show out of this one show, despite the fact that it's a canceled show that didn't have a perfect conclusion. So ultimately, I would say I highly recommend um, Jericho. It's it's up there in my top five for sure. I love this show. I like it. You know, like Jeremiah Firefly. A lot of the shows are canceled. There's a lot of other ones that didn't get canceled. I love like Battlestar Galactica, but then I mentioned Caprica in the middle of this. Caprica was a canceled show. Whatever. We're going to be talking about all that stuff here on the show. So hopefully 
If you like this video, you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you get updates like this in the future, and you'll stick around, hopefully, for all the other stuff that we do here. And if you want to go above and beyond, you can subscribe to the channel as a member here. You can also subscribe over on Patreon, where you get access to all the book chapters that we're publishing, as well as the 5th edition tabletop world we're building with the Weave in the Void and the Point and Click Adventure game, all of which are on our Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash wandering hermits. Links are down there. Also our Discord. Hopefully we'll see you there if you want to come game with us or hang out. Thanks so much, everybody. See you in the next episode. Cheers.